Hi everyone and welcome to this year's ATG webinar. My name is AJ Russell, the Technical Service and Training Manager for Blast One for the APAC region. The theme this year is Real Tech and Real People. For Real Tech we have the VR Sing Spray which is a virtual reality blasting and painting simulator. And for Real People we'll be joined by a special guest shortly from K for Integrated Services from right here in Perth, Western Australia to give this unit a go this morning. So stay tuned and see how it goes. Here we go, look, we're back ready to try this out. We're gonna have a special guest about to turn up. We're gonna put on that virtual reality. Hey, Gina, I'm not sure if anybody's used this before. It's pretty similar to Sony PlayStation. We're also gonna try out blasting methods first. So stay tuned and see how our guest goes. Here we have the blast puzzle. Let's have a look at this. The weight of it is really similar to how a blast hose weight is. We also have a dead man. Obviously, it is where it should be. It's at the head of the blast nozzle. Obviously, when you're pressing this, it will turn on the abrasive, as it should do if you're in a real action blasting. So, we'll be able to see this in action shortly. Stay tuned. Let's have a look at some of the features of the spray gun in this virtual spray unit. The weight of the gun is pretty similar to an airless spray gun or a conventional. Pretty good in weight. It has the same features that a conventional and an airless spray gun have. It has the air cap if it was conventional or if it's put in airless spray mode, you can actually twist this and it will actually change the way that the fan sprays, either that way or if you're spraying this way, this way with your spray fan. If you're in conventional mode, you have your fan size settings, which is at the top, and you also have your fluid control for conventional. So some great features. We'll see that in action shortly. Oh, hi everyone, welcome back. I'm joined now by Paul Hendrickson, the subject matter expert and from KFA Integrated Services. Thanks for joining us today, Paul. I appreciate it. Um, we're now going to put this machine through the test, so stay tuned. Hi everyone and welcome back. We've now got Paul on the um, blast nozzle. We've got a high beam here set up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in coverage map first. This will teach the applicator on how to get the right speed and the right distance. You good to go, Paul? As you can see, as it's blasting, we've got different shades of blue. And when it goes green, this means it's in the target area for the right amount of blast to that area. So if you stop there now, Paul, what we're going to do now, I'm going to take it off coverage map. I'm going to turn it on to normal detail. We know Paul's an experienced matter expert in this. So now we'll try the next section and see how it goes. You can see you've got different corrosion areas here, which obviously require a little bit more blasting versus just taking off uh, coating thickness. So we can see he's blasted a bit more. We'll go back to coverage map now, and we'll be able to see how he's done. Look at that. Green, target area, couple of dot spots where corrosion is, but that's what we'd expect to see. That's great. Oh, thanks Paul for joining us and um, looks like you've done a pretty good job. You've obviously blasted quite some time in the industry. Lucky. Yeah. That was luck. <laughs> That's great. How, no, how I've, been, I've been around for, uh, in this industry probably 25 years now. Fantastic. And um, do you think this is something that's quite useful, like the weight of the hose and the feeling when you're blasting? The weight of the hose is very good. Obviously you don't have the pressure yep. um, in, as in real life and you don't have the, the, the operational setup within the, um, the blast upper. But the, the similarities when you're actually blasting and the on and off and, and how quickly you need to be and how far away you are works really well. Excellent. So something that could probably save a lot of abrasive, save a lot of training in the yards for uh, you know upcoming people to teach technique. It's probably more so you could probably tell if someone's done any blasting as soon as they pick this up um, and, and start blasting, you'd be able to tell if they've done it before. Excellent. So that's something you know working in the industry is really hard to have someone that comes in and say they're a blaster painter. But something like this can really save you know the companies out their money. We can find out if they've blasted it before. Paul's passed and he's done the, the blasting, and now we're going to try out the airless spray. Exactly the same thing we've done here. I've got it in coverage map first, so we can teach technique and you can understand you're hitting your target DMTs. Good to go, Paul. So you can see you've got a light colour there, which means it needs a little bit more. As he does his next coat, you can see it goes to dark blue, then it goes green. That's your target DMT, this test piece.
great effort. So have a look at that. Almost bang on, that's his first try. Um, well done, what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna reset it. We're gonna take off coverage, Matt. I know a lot of painters out there spraying prey over a blasted surface. Pretty hard, we're gonna remove that coat and good go, Paul. All right, finish there, target map. Look at that, so it's pretty good. It's a lot of green there. Obviously he was spraying on the up of the beam, so obviously there's a bit of an overlap there. But this is about teaching and learning technique. Paul's obviously very experienced, done a great job here. First go, first take, brilliant job. How did you find that, Paul? How was the spray, the weight of the gun, the, the weight noise? Of the, gun's, the weight of the gun's very similar. Uh, obviously you've got the background noise of the spray application as well. Um, Again, you just don't have that the, the, the pressure with the triggering on and off. But apart from that, you get very realistic. You can see your orange peel, and then when you go back to the coverage map, obviously it's um, you can see where you where you're at with your with your microns as well. So is this something you thought of? You know, if they got you to the industry or you needed someone to start, you'd definitely be able to know if somebody spray painted before by trying to use one of these virtual reality spray paints. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, by the by the way they apply, whether they do their edges. How they paint the beam, um, what angle of the gun they're on, how far away they are. You can tell all that sort of stuff just from using this. Fantastic. Well, thanks again for joining us here today. No I appreciate your time and thanks everybody for watching. We'll go through this. If there's any more information you'd like to know about this unit, please reach out to the Blast One team, we'll be able to help. So, as you can see, we've now covered labour costs, we've covered material costs such as paint and abrasives. Not only can it track those costs, as you can see, it can also track costs of the parts that you have to, would have to blast or would have to paint. This is really important on learning the cost savings you would get as a business by doing this training to save on parts, labour and materials. Um, and I think it's a great saving. We've already heard from CAFA um, Integrated Services and they think it's quite a good option. Really good for teaching technique and really good for understanding of people where their weaknesses are and where you can train them. Another great addition to this uh, VR simulator is a return on investment calculator. And as you can see, you can set a unit cost of man per hour. These guys get paid pretty good. That's at your cost as a company. It sets a time limit and it tells you how long you've been painting for, what type of gun you've been spraying with. Great feature, really good to help you as a business learn what savings you make when they're using a VR sim rather than being out on the shop floor. And as you can see, it's not just labour that you can track costs of, even the paint. You can put in cost of your paint per litre, cost of your abrasives, sodium bicarb, garnet, or steel grip can be used on this unit. All of this can be determined on usage of time spent on the simulator of what the product would have cost if you were out on the shop floor doing this work. So now we've covered labour cost, material cost. So we know what labour we've burnt, we know what materials we would have burnt if we were on the shop floor. We can also put in a cost of what it would cost to have the material that we've got to blast and got to paint. You can see I've just put in a, a figure here of parts, H beam 225, and um, panels that we've got to do, different amounts, but you can put in those actual costs of what it actually um, costs you as a business if you had to fabricate them. So all of that would be added together and that would give you a return on investment calculator to work out your savings using a virtual sim um, applicator versus um, out on the floor. There you have it. We've now reviewed the VR sim, abrasive blasting and painting virtual simulator. I'd like to uh, put out a special thanks to Cape Integrated Services for coming down today to be able to do the demo on this unit. If this is something that your business or your company would like to have a demo of, or look forward to having this for your training in the future, please contact your Blast One staff in your local area. Thanks very much.